Little setup was plus minus goes in from the battery. Create the circuitry plus minus goes to the board right here. White and negative are the switch. Okay, I created the same setup. As you can see, the pogo pins minus plus is on the far side. The switch white. Press the switch. Complete the circuit. Black. Black. So this is essentially what that is. Okay, as you can see. Plug in the battery. Battery makes contact. Press it in. Everything is lit up. So the transformation is coming along very well. Now I got the pot, the 5K pot. Let me go here. And we're gonna have a dial wheel. And I'm also going to make another piece so I can use this, the throttle as a regular gun. And then this side is going to have the wheel for steering. Okay, as you can see, for now, it's completely all done. I'm just waiting for the new board because this one is bad. So I got my pins here, my spring pogo pins for the battery. I managed to put the charging I put the 3 1 2 and 3 for the steering as you can see inside this 1 2 and 3 forget about this the one that's closest to it. I'm only using 3 for the throttle so this is one setup for the throttle as you can see this is the one I plan to use for now so I will show you, it's going to be wired corresponding to the three, slides in, like so, makes contact, I have a throttle, eventually like I said, I have another piece will slide in and that will be a steering, so basically it will be like that, like a steering, but it's much smaller. And I really want to use it with this. So basically, this will go in here. As you can see, it's just a pot, 5K pot with a wheel. Throttle goes up, down, up, down. And the corresponding pins go to the corresponding pins. One, two, and three. This one is not being used. Basically, slides in. And it's nice and neat. So basically, off is this way, throttle. Eventually I'll try to put a spring, but I think I like the fact that I could just leave it running and not have to worry about it. And I'll just keep, I'll just keep cruising when I want to slow down. My scooter's like that and it works perfectly fine. Just gotta have quick fingers. Throttle, full, off, and brakes. And this is the third channel. Have all the controls here from the original radio, the bind. Uh, I forgot what these are. As you can see, steering trim, throttle trim, steering door rates, which we won't be using until I use it for the car, the charging, uh, what is it, throttle, and steering uh, reverse. So everything seems to be working fine. The board is just bad, so I just ordered another board. And yeah, hopefully it'll work. Okay, everything came out of here. This is the original one, which I've had for about maybe four years, three years now. Works fine, I got a big battery in there. It lasts a long time. It's a little big, but it works very good. You can see this is the new setup. Look how much smaller it is. Originally, 
it was this big so it's quite a bit smaller if you look at it this fits in your pocket this doesn't fit in your pocket then we go to this one and it's handheld it's very small and the reason why I like this is 2.4 gigahertz I don't get any interference I've never had an issue with this ever and I've been riding a long time. I use it for the car, same thing. I put the wheel on here, which I made. And I use it for my remote control cars. And it works fine. Never lost any signal, never had any problems. Battery lasts a long time. I could go for about maybe over a month without charging it. This one I'm sure I can go a very long time, about maybe quite a few weeks because it's a 1,700 milliwatt, milliamp battery. So it should be okay. And eventually I plan to use it as a car remote control too. So it is quite a bit smaller if you can see. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.